Hi, readers. Today we're going to continue reading about our focus topic, US symbols. Now, I want you to take a look at our screen and think about our focus word, symbol. What are you noticing about these words? So you may have noticed like me that there are different languages. We have English, Latin, and Greek. Maybe you've also noticed like me that each of these words has the same beginning sounds and they're all spelled the same, S-Y-M. And that's because the word symbol comes from the Greek root sim, S-Y-M. And S-Y-M, the root means same. And we know from what we've read that a symbol is the same or represents something else. So do you know any other words like this in another language? So readers, we are going to be reading an article today titled Three Symbols of the United States. Can you predict? what three symbols we'll be reading about today. Let's see if you're right. Okay, join me as I read our article a day. The United States of America has some special symbols. A symbol is something that stands for something else. So in our last article, we read about the American bald eagle. And that is a symbol that stands for the United States of America. The American flag is a symbol of the United States. So here we have a photograph of the American flag. And that also stands for or represents the United States. So this is a new symbol that we're learning about. Each star stands for one of the 50 states. The stripes stand for the 13 colonies that joined together to start the country hundreds of years ago. So here we see in this part of the flag are the stars. And the stars stand for each one of the 50 states. And here is a map of America. And each of these is a state. Okay, all together, there are 50 states. So each star stands for one state, like Texas, New York, Washington, Nevada. They're all considered a state in the United States. And here, these 13 stripes, they stand for, as we see over here, the 13 colonies. Those were the first parts of America that are now states today. The Liberty Bell is a United States symbol. It stands for American freedom. The Liberty Bell hangs in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. So this is another symbol, the Liberty Bell. And you can find it here in Philadelphia, which is in the state of Pennsylvania, right here in America. The White House is a United States symbol. 
It is the home of the country's president. The White House is in Washington, D.C. So here's a photograph of the White House, which is another symbol here in the United States located in Washington, D.C. Do you know who lives in the White House today? All right, readers. Now that we have completed reading about three symbols, I want you to write down or draw what you learned from this article that you would like to remember. You may want to try out this sentence frame. In the United States, hmm. Take a minute and pause the video and jot down what you learn now. So readers, hopefully you learned some interesting facts that you jotted down in your book of knowledge. I also jotted down something that I learned that I want to remember. And I wrote in the United States, one of the symbols is the Liberty Bell. So readers, now let's take out our meaning mapper. Maybe you have a virtual meaning mapper or on a piece of paper. And I want you to think about another word that you can connect to our focus word, symbol. And remember, a symbol is an object or picture that represents or stands for something else. Maybe you can connect that word to our focus word, or maybe you can connect it to another word on your map. Pause the video now and add that word to your meaning mapper. As we read this article today, I thought of flag because flag is a symbol. It is another symbol that represents or stands for the United States of America. Thank you for joining me today, readers.